Hi, so today I'm going to explain some of the accounting part of our system in BCIC backend. So let's start with uh, adding new invoice. I, as you can see, this is a shortcut for adding a new invoice here and we can do the same thing from here. Uh, so let's click here. So first of all, we have to select a client so let's select ncr and project for the client so wellness program and the billing address is swiss head head office the invoice date is today's date i believe okay and the purchase order number we have to put in a purchase order number so this is a test one and there will be another bank listed here very soon the currency is chf let's change it to usd okay and uh, this is variable so i'm clicking yes here so the actual working days for the invoice you're billing for so let's do it for march 1st to March 31st, all right, and then we can put in every whatever we want here. So the quantity is three, and the unit price perhaps 5,000. And we can add another thing, let's say equipments. and we can say one or give it four and 250 for each all right you can add as many rows as you want you may already know that all righty let's so our invoice is created here okay and we can see the print view from here so the calculations we have given it everything is good so this for this invoice we have the total amount is due and it is not paid yet so if you want to add a payment for this invoice you can do it from here uh, let's see our D was 17,232 so let's give it like 7,232 okay so total paid is 7,232 and our current due is 10,000 okay so if we go to the invoice list this invoice here as you can see it is the one we just put okay and if you click details it will take us back to the previous view we were watching together okay and this is a shortcut button this is a shortcut button for every invoices if you want to clear the payments and you have a lot of invoices to go through and this is hectic sometimes to go in the invoice and do the payments like we did so this button here as you can see one th 10,000 is due so click pay 10,000 is already selected if you want to give some note you can take a note for here or the submit and due is done let's go to details and see that payment was made successfully from the list so that was a shortcut way so let's try that once again like this is a deal and submit you can change the amount here I'm not changing it done and if I try to do it again 
so it fails because our there is no due anymore see and for this uh, okay uh, for this one here ncr software development our due is zero if someone wants to pay on something like if i want to pay ten dollars here and i submit it says payment process failed because payment amount cannot be greater than the due one okay now uh, let's add some expenses in our system okay to add expenses we have to go to the expenses button here and as you can see we have two types of expenses here one is salary and another one is other expenses okay so if i tap on the salary then you have to put in a reference number as you can maintain a reference number in the papers and put it in here so later on you can find it from that so you can put in anything like any number here then you can select an engineer from here and the engineer has to be listed in our system and to do that you can do it from here all right so the amount for this let's put in 200 and the payment type is bank or cash it is bank okay so let's save it and our expense is created as you can see it is created here and similarly you can see i have another expense of this date which is office rent which i have created using this form so here you can put in the reference number as i said previously to also you can put in put a reference number in the, in the papers if you like and keep a track for keeping track you can put it here too it's completely manual and then the amount payment type all is similar and here you can also add a photo of the receipt so let's see in the previous view we have these two expenses for this date and if we choose to see some previous data we just have to select the data from february 1st to till date okay filter and we have the list of our expenses all right and now if we go to the reporting report section and uh, we choose billings so you can see that uh, for today's date we have only one data and by the way whenever we uh, open our report section we can see only today's data as you can see it's from today's date to today's date so let's if i choose one here and click on go and i can see i have three invoices here and if i choose to go even back let's select from december and click go okay now you can see there are a lot of data we have a filter here saying currency so if i choose euros here and click go i can see all the euro invoices here if i see uh, select chf swiss franc i can see all the swiss franc invoices and if i see uh, if i uh, select usd the usd are here but to see all of them if i click on all and click on go okay so you see our currency is usd and the original amount is this and then this amount is converted to chf swiss franc and the amount is this and this is being converted using this conversion rate here and 
you can always update this and this is not saved in the database you can change it whenever you like nothing is saved this conversion is done on the fly for the report here for your uh, usabilities and everything so if you want to check what is today's rate uh, I can go to Google and see CHF to USD and today's rate is 110.49 so if I change it here 110.49 you see all the rates for usd is changed and updated and let me assure you again nothing is saved on the database this is just a report and this data is converting on the fly okay so because we are adding all the data here and we have a balance sheet here so we must need to uh, calculate all the data so for that reason we have selected swiss franc as our default currency so see euro is converted using this rate and usd is converted using this rate and this is by the way is saved in the database and when you are changing it here it is it will stay here all right and using this button you can go through go to the invoice here and see this amount is in usd and it is converted here and the total is here you can go ahead and check if you like and we definitely appreciate your ideas and everything you want us to tell if you don't like anything please do tell us okay and now if we go to the balance sheet all right and see uh, this is only today's data and remember we have our expenses we added as and salary and as office rent on today's date so this is how it is working as a balance sheet this is expense so uh, it is debited and the balance is minus 200 then the balance is minus 400 because 200 was the previous balance then minus 400 is minus 600 then our invoice we have paid uh, we, we got payments for in for our invoices invoice and this invoice we got payment twice so at first i added manually and then then i added ten thousand using the pay button and this is the total balance and if i go further back let's start from february 1st and select go the report shows from february 1st to today's date and this is ascending because our balance is being adjusted on every date and the previously the billing was descending order okay so let's see on february 1st we have a restaurant expense that was negative then we had our incomes here and here also for adding the balances and everything we have to convert the amounts so our original amount is 2000 and it is converted to swiss franc then it became uh 2209.80 okay and so on and this is calculated to today's date and to till date our balance is this and for calculation purpose you can put in a balance if you like let's say 5000 and this is added here you can even add 50000 and change see this is just for testing uh, i think uh, you can uh, check if you have a previous balance here and if you want to add it manually then you can use this feature or you can just leave it being zero as it was previously and for today's session last but not least we can check out the bets here 
and we don't have any data for today let's go back and bring all the data we have click on go okay so these are our data you can see this is in an descending order depending on the debt so the newest and our newest one are coming on the top and the previous one are arranged in a descending order okay so in this report we can see our clients projects workdays and the usd the billing amount but as this is the this is a vat report we are mainly focused here about the vat so on this project our vat was 1232 and it was in the usd currency so for calculation it is converted to chf and the vat is this you can always just click on usd and press go to see only the usd versions and if you don't want to bother about the <laughs> if you don't want to sorry about that if you don't want to bother about the conversion thing and etc but for overall report if you want to see what is the total amount of fats you have paid so in that case you do need to convert it so that's it and if you want to see only the report for one client it is there on the, all the reports you can just filter it and only that client will come up okay thank you